I, uh... It's stuck. I gotta... Oh, you got it stuck? Yeah, it's stuck. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. I have the situation handled. Never had to use these before. I was kind of hoping I never would, but looks like today's the big day. One of them. Does it make sense to take the trailer off? No. That'd be way too easy. Ready? Like a champ. Almost. Almost had it. That's a lot of snow. I don't know what the f I was thinking. Now, do you think I can make the turn now or what? No, no, no. No? Big no, big no. <laughs> big no. Should I remove the trailer? Yes. All right, fine. Well, gang, welcome back to another episode. Didn't plan on filming today, but this is our last day in Maine before we send it to the, to the Nubian Desert or somewhere in the Red Sea. Kind of a different dress. It's gonna be a different video change from this. But I figured I filmed today because I, I already f***ed up. I, I had my, my first f*** up of the day. Frick up, sorry, I can't swear. Frick up, I had my first frick up of the day. And uh, also I forgot that we've been accumulating a bunch of fish and we never did a catch and cook, so we might as well squeeze that in today as well. We've got a pickerel to cook up, a perch, and a white perch, which is basically some sort of like white bass that they call white perch up here in Maine. So figured it'd be a nice little taste test. Multi-species, catch and cook, taste test. And along with that, you guys get to see me get, get my truck unstuck, so. Hey, what a banger. <laughs> Salty. I don't know how it's gonna work because there's just snow under here. Get this out. Damn it! Good, good. Hey, guess what? I got it out. We did it. Ding. First accomplishment of the day. I got my truck unstuck. Well, alrighty, that's the last of the chores. Both the sleds are back up on the trailer. I just need to put the cover on them and they should be good to go. I can't believe I'm not coming back here for quite some time. It is gonna be quite some time until I get a chance to even be on US soil. I'm gone for like basically three weeks, which is, you know, good and bad. I like these big trips, but I also love places like Maine. I love my home back in Texas. He's looking minty. Look at those sled booties. Ooh, I'm gonna miss that view. Damn. Ah, <sighs> the north, it's been so much fun. It's gonna be hard to say goodbye. Well, the chores are finished and we've got a few hours left before our flight leaves from Bangor to Chicago. And uh, I thought we'd do a little celebratory catch and cook. Throughout this whole week, I've been catching a bunch of different species, two of which, two of the main ones being white perch and yellow perch. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, white perch are kind of like a white bass or like a, a little sand bass, something like that, but they're actually not. They're, they're, I think they're endemic to the East Coast and we've been catching a lot recently. We've also been catching a lot of yellow perch. Both very similar names, yet they're not related at all. The only thing they really have in common is they like little spoons and uh, they're both named perch and they got gills and they swim in the water. That is what we have right here. Uh, we've been holding these guys for the past few days. This right here, as a yellow perch, while this right here is a white perch. And you catch both these guys in pretty similar areas and ways. Most of the fish that you see right behind me were caught in anywhere between 14 to like nine feet of water using a little spoon that looks just like this. And we were tipping it with minnow heads. Uh, they're apparently really good eating. I've had yellow perch before. I'll admit I've never had white perch, but a lot of you local Mainers were saying, you gotta try it. Also, uh, I don't wanna leave you guys hanging. Here are some of the clips of these fish catches that we've been accumulating over the past few days. We didn't go fishing today, of course, but we still caught these guys out on the ice. But I figure I'd sprinkle a little bit of context and add the video content in here so you guys have an idea as to how we caught them and got to this point where they are, uh, well, they're frozen solid on a rock. This is the other perch in Maine. It's not technically a, a perch. It's not in like the uh, same family. The Perkaday family, I think it is. They call them white perch and they're, I guess, insanely good eating. No, no, we don't do a whole lot of cooking of our fish. So we might as well give this guy a taste test. But yeah, throw him in the bucket. Nice eats. We're eating good tonight. <laughs> there we go. Come on, come on. 
What is this? What is this? Oh my god! Oh, oh my, my god! god. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh my goodness, dude. I think uh, our day's starting to turn around. We've only got a few hours to fish. We're getting some megas. <laughs> Look at this size of this thing. See you later. That one. Dude, boom! Put it there, man. So as you can see, they're pretty rambunctious fish, both of them including. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to flay both these guys up and cook them and present them to my camera dude, Alex, this guy right here. And he's going to see if he can determine which one is which. He has admittedly also had yellow perch and not white perch, just like myself. So I'm really interested to see what he thinks of both fish and if he can tell which one is which. So this is kind of like a perch taste test. So without further ado, I'm gonna clean our little buddies here and we are going to cook them after filleting. This is exciting. I'm pumped. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, I've just got finished working through most of these fish, but I wanted to stop for a second in the midst of flaying to show you guys something kind of interesting. Uh, what you see right here are actually little tiny perch eggs. Now, before you guys go insane and say, oh my God, that's so messed up that you kept the female perch, really, there's no way of telling once you catch them. And also, a lot of these lakes are fairly overpopulated in Maine with perch. So doing a little bit of culling is not a bad thing, but I just find this pretty interesting, the fact that there are uh, little eggs. I keep forgetting that perch are winter spawners or like early spring spawners, so they'll spawn under the ice. Whereas most fish, you know, like bass or bluegill will spawn during the summer and spring months. So it looks like both of our perch were female. And then also, I could be wrong here too, but I believe the white bass were spawning as uh, as well. I wanna give you guys a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the flays and what they look like. Note that this is definitely not my best work. To be honest, I don't keep fish that often. So my experience with flaying is very slim. Although this is just about as much meat you're gonna get on a yellow perch. I can't really speak much for the white perch because I've never really caught these guys, nor have I flayed a single one. But it looks like there's a decent amount uh, given the size. They're only about 10, 11 inch fish. The the white perch are kind of close to that 12 inch size, but there's not gonna be a whole lot of meat. The, uh, the white perch though looks a little bit more more red, which is interesting. I don't think that's from the blood. It just look, look, looks a little bit more like a like a striped bass fillet. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring these into the kitchen, cook them up, and we're gonna serve them to our camera dude, Alex, to see if he can tell the difference or to see which one he likes the best, or maybe they're just the same. I'm very interested. Hey, yo, Al. Yeah, what's up? Okay, so real quick, before I get into this catch and cook, I'm, asked, I'm wondering from you, and the people are also wondering, which fish do you think you like better, either the white perch or the yellow perch? I probably would like the yellow perch better only because I've had it and so you're a little bit biased I'm a little bit biased. I've actually had it before but I haven't had white perch neither have I I hear it's pretty good. Yeah, everyone says it's delicious So now that I've got the pregame estimate from buddy back there We are now going to cook up these fillets and uh, I'm doing this a little bit unorthodox. So hear me out All right, we're in the camp kitchen right now, and we are about ready to cook up our Filets. To my left, we've got the perchies, and then to my right, we also have the perchies. Well, at least these ones are white perchies. The recipe that I'm gonna be using for this is basically no recipe at all. I know what I'm about to say is basically catch and cook cardinal sin. We're not gonna be using Frank's red hot sauce. We're not gonna be using any sort of beer batter or flakes or panko or anything like that. Matter of fact, the only three ingredients we're gonna use for this, salt, pepper, and just a little bit of butter or olive oil. And the reason why I'm doing this is so we can get the full natural taste of each fish. Today's video isn't necessarily to find the best recipe for fish, it's just to figure out which one, at least in Alex's opinion, tastes the best. And the interesting thing is instead of flaying the skin, I'm gonna leave the skin on. I've heard and I've read that leaving the skin on a fish kind of maintains like the oily flavors, like that really good uh, fish flavor that you get with fillets. And that's one of the reasons why if you go to like a restaurant and order salmon, the skin is still on the salmon because it actually adds to meat of the fish. So we're gonna leave the skin on. I know this sounds so ass backwards and you guys in the comment section are probably going nuts right now, but just hear me out on this. For those of you who know, not a bad way to cook fish, um, especially if you're out in the wilderness and surviving, you don't have a, well, you don't have a nice little holster of Frank's Red Hot <laughs> on your hip at all times. So this works. We're just trying to prove a point today. Let's get after it.
Got the filets cooking. Haha, <laughs> smells pretty good. I know it may not look very appetizing. I left the, the belly and the ribs or whatever. But again, I'm just trying to keep it raw and uncut. Just straight meat flavor. I don't want to get in the way of the actual taste of the fish flesh. I know that sounds kind of hardcore, but seriously, that's the whole goal of this. I want to determine today which one tastes better. A lot of you Wisconsin, Minnesota guys are probably going to say, well, obviously perch. You can't beat that. But some of you New Englanders are like, well, white perch are also delicious. Those guys are even better than the yellow perch. I feel like this is definitely going to draw a little bit of coral in the comment section below just because they are two very sought after panfish. I don't know. I'm curious to see which one I like best. Today's the day we find out which one is our preference. But damn, she looks pretty good. Just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, some olive oil, call it a day. Simple, easy, primal recipe. Yo, Al, the perch, perch are complete. Really? You ready? Big taste before we leave? Yeah, let's do that. Right, let's do it. The cooking's finished. It only took a few minutes to cook those little, little itty bitty fillets. They're not much, as you could probably tell. Quality over quantity, right? Yeah. If it's good meat, you don't need too much of it. Still cooking these guys right here, but these two fillets are finished. So we're gonna try those right now and see what Buddy thinks. Okay, I feel like I'm about to interrogate you. <laughs> so firsthand, which one do you think is which? It, are these two different fish? Two different fish. Completely, they're both perch. Perch, but they're two different fish. This is taller, so I'm gonna go and say that that, I mean, it's barely taller, but I'm thinking that's the white perch. You think that's the white perch? I think that's the okay. white perch and that's the- Yellow perch. Yellow perch, I prefer that. All right, let's go like this. Well, at least it's cooked. I'm trying to get any scales. Okay, first fish. All right. <laughs> you really processed it. No, I mean, shoot, like you're asking for a taste test. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna yeah, get yeah. a taste take test. Time, take your time, to, I'm sorry. I mean, it's really good. Don't get me wrong. Is it actually? Let me try. Yeah. No, it's a great white flaky fish. Yeah. All right. Buttery flaky crust. Buttery flaky crust. <laughs> We've been eating a lot of- Do so you like that one? Yeah, I like I this. I do too, I think that's good. All right. Going for the so, second fillet? All right, so- Or have you determined like, don't, I've don't tell me that. yet. that. Yeah, I'm okay. not gonna tell okay. you anything. I've processed that. Okay. This is completely unbiased. He doesn't know which one is the yellow perch. Or white perch. Or white perch. I just don't or know. any of the perches. I right. should come in. Yeah, a little bit sweeter. This one's a little bit more basic. I mean, pretty simple. Yeah, that's weird. That one does have like a significantly better taste. All right, so. So you thought that one was? I think that's the white perch, and I think that's the yellow perch. What if I told you you're wrong? Then, I mean, I wouldn't know. I haven't eaten, nor that's white perch, 100%. No. That's that is that's the yellow? yellow perch. Yes. No way. And this is the white perch. Wow. Okay. But you but you did hold true. I mean, you did say that you were gonna like the white perch better. Or sorry, the yellow no, no, perch. No, yellow better. perch better. Yes, yep. And you did like the yellow perch better, but you didn't know that it was the yellow perch. No, based off of size. I mean, I for I guess I forgot how big that perch yeah, that caught it was. Huge. was. It was big. Yeah, it was a big perch. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to do two different fillets or two very similar size fillets. That way, he couldn't have an idea as to which one is which. Yellow perch, white perch have completely different body shapes. One's taller, one's longer. I, I thought for sure that he was gonna be able to guess um, which one was which correctly, but he didn't. He still ended up liking the yellow perch. Yeah, 100%. very curious. The debate has been finalized, guys. Oh, there's some more over here too. Do you want some more? Yes, please. There's no more debate. We've settled it. Yellow perch is a hundred times better than white perch. Actually, they were both really good. I would say maybe by a point off. No, really? the yellow perch was pretty damn good. It was okay, sweeter. okay. Alex is Alex is set on the fact that the yellow perch was a lot better. I personally thought the white perch was very good. And again, it's all dependent. You know, there's a lot of factors here where we caught them. Uh, I will say both the fish were caught in the same exact body of water, like within just a few feet of each other. It depends on their diet, where they're living, what they're doing, how much, you know, body fat they have. The interesting thing too is both those fish were spawning. They both had eggs. Really? Yeah, so they're both females, both spawning fish. Both came out of the same water. Both names start with a P, or I guess one is a Y and the other one is a W, which also is kind of interesting now that I'm thinking about it. But anyway, I'm rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want to see another fish catch and cook showdown, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe next time we'll do like pike versus pickerel or I don't know, maybe salmon versus trout. You guys drop a comment what you want to see fillets go head to head. We will catch the fish, cook them, and then do a blind taste test for the finale. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was actually a lot of fun to film something a little bit different. I like catching cooks, but I also like to add a bit of twists in the videos. But anyway, I'm peacing out, signing out. We got a flight to catch to Sudan, so we will meet you guys there. I appreciate the view, and as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.